Hey, this is Tim here again. Uh, I just want to... This is the, the third build video. We're on week... We're, we're still on week two. Yeah, thanks for that. And uh, how many hours of classroom time will have we, ha we had? Okay, so this will be the fourth class. So they're going at the end of today. It'll be 16 hours. 16 hours. Um, I, I thought I thought it might be a good idea for us to just show our... This is our what, what, what I call our 3D printer room at AACC. And uh, we have a U-print um, that allows us to print uh, 3D printed parts. Uh, it's actually down right now and we're, we're going to fix it. Um, this is Patrick here and uh, this is our laser cutter. So um, we... Um, hey, let me see if I, can, if I can focus in on this here. I don't know, come on now. I'll zoom out, there we go. Um, so Patrick, uh, do you remember what type of file you take out from SolidWorks to get, get in here to in, import? Uh, yes, it is a... I forgot what it was. So you know what it, you know what it is, Will? Yeah, actually what we take is a DXF file. That's, yeah, and then we file. import a DX it into uh, CorelDRAW. Yep. And then from CorelDRAW it goes into the, uh, the printer itself, or the cutter itself. Yep. And what Patrick had done... Um, is actually put these are actually pieces for two of our for both of our trainer modules that we're doing right now um, so these are the pieces for two trainers and these are um, two of the small extension pieces for we've yeah for for the, the the few sensors yep now we've never um we've always had this laser well we've so we've always had we've had it for a long time we and the trainer you can actually see like stacks of um black black acrylic and um, we've never made it out of plywood but it, it is doable do you, do you, i don't think it will be that much of a challenge yeah i mean we do make uh, some of our for some of our mechatronics for some of the holders for hmis we make them out of wood yeah and they cut the frames for them and we just stack them in the, the frame so you could do it out of wood very so thin wood very uh, balls of wood or whatever yeah. but this, this is an extremely useful gizmo to have yeah, for we, fabrication. We use it to basically any type of holding fixture. We can make little holding fixtures so long as it's not a lot of weight. Yep. Um, it can cut out, you know, it's the same process. We make a SOLIDWORKS drawing and then we convert it to a DFX file and yep. then we can just cut it through the laser cutter. Yep. And if you look at what Patrick did here, you can see that we've got two of everything on here. And, it, you know, we, we try to do is we try to, you know, use, you know, every available inch to get parts in here and so you can see we have two of everything on here and that's good uses of the uh the acrylic the acrylic so yeah so that's a i'm guessing that's a 24 by 48 sheet of acrylic uh, it's 12 by 24 12 by 24 and uh yeah that's it so um i'm gonna we're gonna go back to the to the fabrication lab and um show you the next stage um they're, they're they're moving light at lightning speed with this project here so um i wanted to show anyone who's uh who's interested that the the real advantage of a laser cutter so this is just a picture of this is a little a-frame that we use for hmi this isn't for this project but this is what we use in our mechatronics and this is just a holder for an hmi you, there you go and this is all laser cut it's a little a-frame but again you just make it out of uh, solidworks all the piece parts and then you just have the laser cut it, cut it, and that gives it the little brown tint on the edges. Mm -hmm. But uh, then, you know, we have this, and we just use a little wood glue and glue it together, and it works out. Uh, you, got yourself, nice. you got yourself a nice holder, and it yeah. takes all of a couple of hours to make. Yeah, it's really simple, really good. Right. Um, so uh, these guys have had 16 hours to get to this stage, believe it or not, and uh, they're just... They're just moving along like crazy um the the wiring diagrams have um have been played would you have the the large prints ah stop look at this too easy uh will has uh put these large prints um and i know that's out of focus for you so um i don't know why what this is a bloody expensive cell phone <laughs> there you go these are on the website now connor is um so how did you knock out, so, so I'm looking at basically three, four modules here. How did you knock out this module here? Who Was it Jacob or who put this module together? Jacob did. 
Jacob did. And so you got all the, the pneumatic components on there um, very, very quickly. Um, so so he, he knocked this out, he just bolted it together. Mm -hmm. um, did you do this one here, yes. Patrick? Um, so here in this one, uh, we had to use the little axle over there or to cut these to the right measurements. And then we also have uh, laser cut pieces mm -hmm. that uh, we showed in the previous video where um, these were the shapes that were cut out, the baseboard and stuff for these certain modules. And then these here were 3D printed. So it's kind of an exercise in finding, looking at the bill of materials, finding the correct parts right. and putting them together. Um, so this has a nice um, belt drive. Um, you're, you're, we're still missing the auger here. Uh, did you press, the, was there, is there a bearing in here? Uh, yes, there is a, a bearing, bearing yeah. And it just slid right on in. Just slid right in. You have your relay there. Um, what about yourself, Connor? Did you do this one or is this I Levi's? So there's a couple of guys, a couple of guys here. The weather's very nice outside, and they're probably <laughs> probably taking sitting down. Um, I worked on the other linear actuator. The linear actuator, gotcha. So <laughs> this, so so again, it's it's just a matter of putting the parts in and bolting it together. So um, Connor, you're at the stage now where you're starting to wire this bad boy up. Yes. Um, so you're looking at wiring diagrams right yep. here. You got yourself um, a load of a load of wire here. What is that? Is that 18 AWG or? This is yes, that's 18 gauge. 18 gauge. You're using crimps. Uh, are you crimping these with the crimp tool? Yes. Lovely. Crimp and tool and the ferrule. Ferrule, lovely. Yeah, I like ferrules. And uh, so you're just reading this diagram and uh, wiring it at mm -hmm. the moment. Yeah. And right now, what he's doing is he's wiring up all the DC power and the AC common ground. And each module, you know, the DC and the power on the same terminals. So we're just pulling wires from each of the four modules um, and wiring those up. And then we'll try to get the other wiring for the inputs and outputs for the PLC. And then it'll be the wiring internal to the module. Yep. So on this side of the terminal board that goes into our um, sensors and also to the pneumatic solenoids. So I'm, I'm following what Will is saying. I don't... Uh, just again, um, so what this diagram here, it's it's the wiring from each of the breakouts. Yeah, from uh, all of this stuff. All of this stuff to, to each, the to the modules, and then each individual the module, module has, its own, wiring has its own wiring diagram, which is just over Patrick's shoulder there, yeah. So this is, uh, uh, this is the 24 volt mm -hmm. bus, yeah. this is the zero volt bus, yes. and our 24 volt Volts is going to each of the modules, yep. and the zero is these are our signals mm -hmm. which are going back to the PLC. Yep. Yep. So, um, these guys, this is a capstone project, they've done it, electronics, pneumatics, mechanical systems, mm -hmm. PLCs. So, this is just basically a walk in the park, <laughs> you know, they're just applying it all now. Um, so, 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 just to be just to go over it again, this is after 16 hours of classroom time, and uh, you can see it's really coming along. Uh, did, did did you guys want to say, did you guys want to talk about the the linear actuator or or uh, I don't think it's hooked up at the moment. That's okay. We can uh, so I'm, we, I'll be here next week and uh, we'll continue on and. And if yeah. we're going to show one more thing, we can show. Yeah, you know, we probably had this before, but you know we've got both of our platforms for both of our training systems. You know these are all we've got the components here and they're just ready to be wired at some point. Yep. Um, but all the components are in place and now it's just question. And this one, you know, there are some, the uh, power distribution is down here, but mainly we just have cabling to go from this unit over to the big, uh, you know, big uh, mechanical assembly unit. So yeah. um, we've got, everything is cabled off of here. So you're, you're going to have two cables, There's the, one, one of them, just, just like we're seeing here, but yeah. you're going to have a cable that goes from both of these over to the two green. Right. Yeah, and then the, this cable from here, which is to the PLC, just plugs into just this to there. one. Yep. So, so we have three, essentially, three input-output modules: the original PLC and two extra ones. Yeah, two expansion modules. Two expansion modules. Yep. So, hopefully, uh, look, uh, what you're seeing is the the progress after two weeks of work, a total of 16 hours in the classroom, um, and it just shows you that that that. That good motivated students with good documentation, the parts already, um, they can really put this thing together. So uh, we will see you next week.